Okay, hello. We're going to be learning now about measuring, and we have A, B, C, D, E, five measuring quizzes that we're going to do over the course of the next few weeks. And this is our first one. We're going to be learning about measuring with the imperial measuring tape. You can tell it's imperial because it has a symbol for feet there, 25 feet. The other system we use in Canada is metric. And it's so simple that I'm not even going to bother teaching it because in metric, one mark is one. Two marks is two. There are no fractions. It's just one is one, two is two, three is three, five thousand is five thousand. All right, and the, it's pretty simple to use. When we're using imperial, we still use this quite a bit in Canada. Most of the world, you don't use imperial anymore. You use metric, but we're going to learn this because it's still used quite a bit and we need to know how to use these marks in here. So get a measuring tape and you can follow along here. We've got numbers that go up the tape here and they are the inches. You can tell they're inches because the, the, the lines go all the way across and there's a number next to it and that indicates the whole inch. Once you get to 12 it splits and it goes 13, 14, the black numbers go on the bottom and the red numbers continue at the top. The reason it splits at 12 is because this is now one foot. There are 12 inches in one foot. And it'll continue like that all the way to the end of the tape. Here's two feet, 24 inches. And every foot it starts counting in red again. One, two, three, four, five, up to 12 where it starts again at one. Three feet, 36 inches, same thing. Most of our measurements are going to be lower down here. We're learning about all these little lines that are in between the inches. <clears throat> and most of those are going to happen on a future date. But the one we're going to look at, are you able to see right in here? The one we're looking at today, we have the whole inches, one, two, three, four, five. Right, these ones that go all the way across. And we're also going to look at the next one right there, which is that long line in the middle. And that one is the half inch line. And every single inch has one of those half inch line. It's because it's halfway between the inch lines, okay? So this, for example, that line is after seven and before eight, and it's halfway between. So it would be seven and one half. And we're gonna learn how to write those down. And in future dates, we're gonna learn about the quarters and the eighths and the sixteenths. But right now, all we have to worry about is that long one in the middle because the measuring quiz A that we're going to do today has to do with whole inches and halves of inches. So it's a good practice if you take a piece of paper and write on there, draw a measuring tape like this. We're gonna expand it up to make an inch. So this is one edge of the measuring tape, that's the other, and we're going to make our whole inch lines. And we'll just say, that's seven, and we'll say this is eight. So I'm taking a little portion of the measuring tape and expanding it up so I can see it clearly. Right here, that's seven inches. I would write that as seven inches. Two little ticks like that is the symbol for inches. You notice on the front here, there's only one tick. That's for feet, 25 feet. So that's 25 12 inch segments, okay? A foot is 12 inches. In the middle, we have a long line, longer than all these other ones that are in here. That is the half inch line, one half. One half, that's the fraction. Two in a fraction is the denominator. That means what represents the entire whole inch. This is a whole inch from here to here. Therefore, we have one piece here, and another piece here, two all together make one. And up till this point, we only have one of them. So it's one out of two pieces of an inch, one half. You should be learning that in school. If you haven't already, you gotta learn it. So one half, that's what that's called. So if our measurement came to here, we would have seven and one half inches. We have to put the seven in there because if you just have half of an inch, that's way down here. Can you see it? One half inch is way down here close to the tip. That's half of an inch down there. Seven and a half is seven 
and half of an inch in between the eight and the, and the seven, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to use this. There are 15 different pieces of wood you're going to be measuring in sample A, which is over here. Underneath the blackboard, right here, there's a, a bin and the sub or the teacher will put those out onto a table and you guys are going to measure them. So there's 15 different samples and it's sample A. So you'll take a piece of paper, you're going to write quiz A on it. And you're going to do A1, A2, A3, so on and so forth until you get to A15. Then you're going to take a measuring tape from the wall. You're going to go to those pieces of wood and you're going to measure them. I'll give you a freebie. A13. You're going to hold the piece of it, hold it in your hand. You're going to pinch the tape measure with your thumb and your index finger. And you're going to pull the tip against the end of the board. And you're going to look over here at the other end and measure it. Well, look at this one. It actually ends up being seven and a half. So you look, you can roll the tape over a little bit to get more accuracy and look at it carefully. Seven and a half is the measurement here. So you're going to look at that and say, okay, well, A13 is seven and a half. So under here where it says A13, you're gonna write seven and one half, what? Seven and a half pizzas, seven and a half cucumbers, what? Seven and a half inches, make sure you put that symbol. And you work through from A1 to 15, you measure the sticks. Once you've done that, you're ready to move on to your project. Uh, pencil holder. Alright? Hope this makes sense.